Back in 2015, Mike Hall did a really great job of writing up a list of folks to watch for at the front of the pack of the Tour Divide. So we're going to do a similar thing and highlight some notable names and some historically fast racers. It's the least we can do to pay tribute to the late ultra-endurance athlete and current record holder of the Tour Divide. Let's do it. So if you didn't know, the Tour Divide is a self-supported race that follows the Great Divide mountain bike route, which starts in Banff, Alberta, Canada, and finishes in Antelope Wells, New Mexico, which is on the U.S.-Mexico border. As we inch closer to the Grand Depart, which is the second Friday of June every year, we get to speculate about who might be the front runners. It's a fun part of the race because it brings so many different cyclists with varied backgrounds to Banff. This year is no exception, of course, with some of the best athletes in the ultra endurance realm soon to toe the line. There are some high level ex pro road racers turned gravel aficionados, veterans who have tackled the tour divide many times, and undoubtedly we will see some new folks make their mark on arguably the most challenging bikepacking race out there. All right, so before we dive into it, I just wanna mention that this video is supported in part by Surly Bikes. Surly, they make serious steel bikes for people that don't take themselves too seriously. They make bikes that are versatile and durable that can be dressed up or down for commuting, bikepacking, ATBing, gravel grinding, or really whatever you call fun on two wheels. With 15 original dirt-friendly platforms, they offer something that fits just about anyone for any style of riding. So for more on Surly, make sure to hit this card right here, or you can find a link below. I'm most looking forward to watching the women's race this year, simply because there's some powerful and fast women lining up. Let's start with a few of the veterans, starting with Lael Wilcox, the highly decorated ultra endurance athlete who currently holds the women's record of 15 days, 10 hours, and 59 minutes is lining up again. So while Lael did not set a goal finish time, she did say, quote, weather dependent as fast as I can, end quote. And knowing Lael, she's definitely gunning for the overall win, not just besting her own women's record. Lael's warm up ride to Banff. Uh, started a few weeks ago from the Arizona-Mexico border. Alexandra Houchin, the two-time winner and current women's single speed record holder, has put in a ton of work to train and prep for this year's Tour Divide, even pedaling much of the Great Divide mountain bike route northbound the last few weeks. Alexandra is lining up again on her trusty single speed chumba as she does, and it will be interesting to see how she stacks up against the field and Chris Plesko's single speed record of 15 days, eight hours in one minute. Alexandra and I actually had a really great chat earlier this year, and if you are interested in checking that out, you can find that in the link below. Another woman to watch is the Canadian pro road cyclist, Marie Soleil Blay. Marie is a rookie lining up for the Grand Depart, but she did pedal the Great Divide mountain bike route last year, finishing in 28 days. So she knows the route and many of the unique challenges that come with it. She was even in Colorado last month bikepacking in the snow and getting acclimated to the higher elevations of the race. Marie has set a goal finish time of 18 days, but don't be surprised if you see her name up in the front of the pack. The question remains, can she keep it up over the course of two plus weeks? All right, so the men's race has a mix of ultra endurance enthusiasts, ex-world tour pro racers, and highly regarded gravel racers. It's going to be a very exciting race to follow for sure. Again, let's start with some of the veterans. Starting with Andrew Klomatiski from Logan, Utah. I don't think anyone has worked harder to try and accomplish the 200 miles a day that it will take to beat Mike Hall's record of 13 days, 22 hours, and 51 minutes. While there may be faster riders lining up, Andrew has ridden the Tour Divide many times, putting, I'd say, probably 10,000 plus miles into the event. He knows the route, knows the climbs, and knows what it takes to complete hundreds of miles a day, which could not only set him up for a Tour Divide win, but also a course record. Steve Halligan finished fourth in both the 2017 and 2019 Tour Divides, completing the races in around 17 and 16 days, respectively. Steve also took third in the 2022 version of the Silk Mountain Race, but according to his Instagram, 
Instagram account. He's dealing with some illnesses, uh, but he does hope to depart with the group on Friday. The veteran has the upper hand on root knowledge and has the form, and it should be no surprise to see him in the top five yet again. Since 2019, Ulrich Bartholomos has had a great deal of success in ultra endurance bikepacking events, taking on 19 events and winning 14 of them. Ulrich has the legs for the Tour Divide, and despite being a rookie, he might be the most well-prepared rookie in the field. Ulrich recently finished the Unbound XL in third place while dealing with several mechanical issues. So it would be no surprise to see Ulrich right at the front in his first Tour Divide. Yastina Slaveka is another rookie with ultra endurance experience. The Norwegian has had many recent successes, including wins at the race across Rwanda and the Dales Divide, and second place in the Atlas Mountain Race this year. While I'll be doing another post on analyzing the rigs of the Tour Divide next week, it's safe to say Yastina's rig is pretty darn minimal. If you're into the gravel world, you've likely heard of Ted King, the 40-year-old from Vermont. Before racing off pavement, however, he was on the pro road circuit from 2006 to 2015. But Ted definitely gained popularity with success in the gravel world by taking wins in popular events like SBT Gravel and Unbound. Ted is lining up as a rookie, but has a few longer rides under his belt, including the fastest known time on the Arkansas High Country route. Ted recently scratched out of DKXL, but according to his Instagram, he's excited and ready to take on the Tour Divide. Retiring from road racing last year, 34-year-old Alex Howes also saw success in the gravel race scene with wins at SBT Gravel in 2021 and other high ranks in competitive gravel races. While Alex has a limited amount of experience in ultra endurance events, his time on the pro circuit should set him up for success in riding long days over two weeks. Weeks. Plus, living in Colorado, he is uh, no stranger to foul mountain weather, which is a big part of the Tour Divide. So the beauty of the Tour Divide is that it's so long and challenging and demanding that really anything can happen. And that's the beauty of the event. The fastest riders rarely win. It's the strong-willed, consistent riders who ride day after day that tend to get to Antelope Wells faster. With that, I would love to hear from you all. Who are you rooting for? And if you think I forgot someone, please leave it in the comment section below. Good luck to all of the racers. Be smart, be safe, and ride fast. And if you liked what you saw in this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and consider joining the Bikepacking Collective. Support from our members helps sustain this channel and everything you see on bikepacking.com. The Bikepacking Collective includes a lot of awesome perks, including the twice annual Bikepacking Journal and monthly giveaways, just to name a few. So to learn a little bit more, you can click on the card in the top right corner or also find a link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, pedal further.